What is going on guys, it is WrestleMania here, back with some more news. Join us now as we look at the wildest news stories and rumors you need to know, including Stone Cold shuts down WWE return rumors, Kenny Omega returning to New Japan Pro Wrestling, Tony Khan addresses a CM Punk rumor, Seth Rollins calls out a retired wrestler, and much more. Be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell for daily wrestling videos and follow us on Facebook for exclusive lists. Also check out WrestleMania.co.uk and our non-wrestling channel, Incredible. And now let's see the intro and get straight into our first story. Our first story looks at Stone Cold Steve Austin shuts down return rumors. Our top story today examines a recent Instagram video from the iconic WWE star which seems to shut down rumors of them wrestling next year. There have been a number of reports surrounding the possibility of Stone Cold Steve Austin wrestling again at WrestleMania 39 in April. The reports indicate that the WWE great was thrilled with his performance and the subsequent reception to his match with Kevin Owens and he could be looking to have one more match. There is no indication who Austin's opponent could be for the event, but fans are throwing names out there such as John Cena, Seth Rollins, Sami Zayn and even CM Punk. However, according to Austin, he has no plans to return to the squared circle and the reason for his extensive training is simply for personal reasons as Austin wants to get into great shape once again. Talking to fans via an Instagram video, the Hall of Famer would reveal People have been speculating, hey Steve, you know, what are you doing? What are you training for? Are you training for an event? I can speculate what you want for. Uh, I just simply looked in the mirror and realized I looked like shit, so I called my diet coach up. As far as body weight goes, sub 232, uh, leanest I've been in shit forever. Anyway, that's the bottom line, I'm out. That's, I, I just got tired of looking like, uh, when I looked in the mirror, I looked like shit. Got tired of looking like shit, so I'm taking actions to do something about it. But is he bluffing? Has Austin agreed to wrestle in April next year? After all, why would he spoil it? Well, time will certainly tell. But you guys want Austin to have another match? Let us know in the comments down below. Next up, Kenny Omega returning to New Japan Pro Wrestling. A resident AEW wrestler and executive, Kenny Omega is officially returning to New Japan Pro Wrestling. The former IWGP World Champion appeared in a video at the New Japan Pro Wrestling X Stardom event over the weekend, and Omega would challenge Will Ospreay for a match at Wrestle Kingdom 17 on January 4th, 2023. Ospreay accepted the challenge, and Ospreay vs Omega will be for the IWGP United States Heavyweight Championship. In the video promo, Omega stated that Ospreay replaced him in New Japan Pro Wrestling, but this resulted in smaller crowds. Omega would then also state that he was surprised to receive a phone call from New Japan Pro Wrestling and he was returning for the sake of the fans and for the art of pro wrestling. Omega returned to AEW last night at the Full Gear pay-per-view along with the Elite. The Elite would be unsuccessful in their attempt to recapture the trio's titles, but Omega previously was suspended from AEW due to a physical commotion with CM Punk after the All Out pay-per-view. It looks like this is all blown over and Omega is now able to return to both his executive and his in-ring duties. Are you guys excited to see Omega return to New Japan Pro Wrestling? Let us know in the comments down below. Next up, Seth Rollins calls out a retired wrestler. As Seth Rollins is currently enjoying a well-received run as US Champion and Rollins took to Instagram last night to call out a well-known retired wrestler. Rollins would post a picture of his former authority stablemate Jamie Noble with the caption US Championship Open Challenge. Rollins and Noble have had a ton of history and their work together during Rollins' normal WWE title reign was acclaimed by fans. The former WWE Cruiserweight Champion last wrestled for WWE back in 2015 when he teamed with Joey Mercury to defeat Rollins in a handicap match. Rollins vs Noble would make for an interesting one-off matchup and it'll be interesting to see if WWE follow through on Rollins' tease. Next time an AEW star criticizes the interim champion concept. But one of AEW's more unique and divisive concepts is the interim championship. Unlike any other company such as WWE, when a champion is injured in AEW, they will crown an interim champion. When the regular champion returns, AEW will then feature a champion vs champion match to determine who is the actual champion. This has received mixed reviews as it seems overly complicated and it just seems to make more logical sense to simply crown a new champion. Last night at Full Gear, Jamie Hayter defeated Tony Storm to become the new interim AEW Women's Champion. While the match was well received, fans questioned why huge matches of this nature were taking place when they could have been easily for the actual women's title. 
It's not just fans who have been critical of AEW's interim champion concept as AEW star Sean Spears took to Twitter last night to criticize the concept. This interim stuff is bullshit, you're either the champion or you're not. AEW president Tony Khan hasn't ruled out stripping the actual AEW Women's Championship Thunder Rosa of her title, but Khan wouldn't fully commit to this as he genuinely believes the interim concept works. Are you a fan of the concept? Let us know in the comments down below. Next up, Tony Khan addresses CM Punk rumor. Well, one of the main rumors circulating CM Punk and AEW is that Punk politicated his way into moving Colt Cabana on the Ring of Honor roster. It's well documented how deep the hatred between Punk and Cabana continues to be, and it was a common belief that Tony Khan moved Cabana to the Ring of Honor roster in order to keep the peace and to ensure that Punk remained happy. Speaking at the Full Gear post pay per view press conference, Khan shot these rumors down as Khan stated, No, CM Punk never asked for that. The first time it came up, you asked me this on a scrum call before the death before Dishonor. I could have addressed it then, but didn't comment on it as I wanted to talk about wrestling on the show because Colt Cabana was on the show. Punk's status in AEW is still unknown, as he's been heavily reported that Khan is looking to buy out Punk's contract, which will obviously mean that Punk won't be returning to AEW in any capacity. During the press conference, Khan would also address the return of Cabana to AEW TV. Cabana returned to face Chris Jericho a number of weeks ago on Dynamite, and it seemed rather unusual that Cabana would return in a high-profile match just days after the reports that Punk could be on his way out of AEW began to surface. In relation to this, Khan would mention Punk, but he justified the Cabana vs Jericho match by stating that it made logical sense to book it. Khan added, As far as the match with Chris at Baltimore, I thought it made a lot of sense because we had the Ring of Honor Championship Series and we talked about Chris Jericho facing so many great names in Ring of Honor. When you talk about so many people who held championships in Ring of Honor, we brought in Bandido, Dalton Case and Tomohiro Ishii, who was a great former Ring of Honor World TV Champion. When we've been booking the shows, I've been using Colt Cabana both as a coach and a wrestler in Ring of Honor. So I looked at the Ring of Honor roster. Colt Cabana is a very logical challenger. He's also been wrestling in the new Ring of Honor and was undefeated, so it made sense for him to face Chris. And finally, MGF heading to Hollywood. Our final story takes a look at the status of the newly crowned AEW World Champion MGF. Following MGF's victory over John Moxley in the main event of Full Gear, MGF would appear at the post-show press conference, and it's here where he would cut a scathing promo and he would reveal that he's off to film a movie. I'm gonna take a shower, I'm gonna get all of Moxley's disgusting hepatitis A through Z off me, and then in the morning, I'm gonna do what nobody else on the roster does, because I'm the only real effing star here. I'm gonna hop on a jet, I'm not gonna go and do my goddamn movie set. Anybody got any questions? Just kidding. Thank you, F you, bye. And we know that MGF has been cast in The Iron Claw, a movie based on the Von Erich wrestling family which stars Zac Efron, so this is potentially what MGF referenced in his promo. We don't know yet how substantial MGF's role in the movie is or if this will be impacting his appearances on AEW television. Nevertheless, it's great to see MGF receive outside opportunities of this nature and, and MGF will without question be a great addition to the highly anticipated biopic. But there you have it folks, the wildest news stories and rumors you need to know. Be sure to leave your comments down below and I'll see you next time with some more wrestling content.